Hello and welcome, I'm Karen, this Mainer Mom, and today I have a clean and declutter with me. Um, I'm decluttering because I'm getting ready for the holidays and I love to have things cleaned out so we're ready for Christmas. So I hope you'll consider subscribing if you like this video and give it a big thumbs up and we'll get started right now. Here I'm getting started in my bedroom closet. All of my clothes are in this closet. I don't have a lot. I'm a bit of a minimalist when it comes to clothes. So I'm getting it cleaned out, deciding what's going and what's staying. And that little tin, I have little keepsakes there, little papers. So I'm going through those and seeing what I need to get rid of. Now I'm going through my clothes. That's a pair of three quarter length pants and then my shorts. Those are gonna go in the basement with summer clothes. I keep my bathing suit out because we do go to the neighborhood indoor pool and those are my jeans. So I'm just going through deciding what I'm going to get rid of and what's gonna go back in the drawer. What I like to do when I have a donate pile is I like to get rid of it as soon as possible within 24 hours because I find if I don't do it right away, it just doesn't get done and it hangs around. Now I'm wiping out the bottom with an all-purpose method cleaner. This one's an apple scent and it smells so good. I'm quickly going through everything that's hanging up to see if there's anything that I would like to get rid of. And I like to keep the spare hangers on the end so that they're ready whenever I have something. And there's just a few things that I found I really didn't like, I didn't feel good in, and I'm getting rid of those. Those are my slippers and they stay on top of my shoes. I got those inexpensive boxes for shoes. What a game changer. Now the top is just um, little odds and ends of nail polish, perfume, lotions. Um, my cake top actually is up there too. And a couple of keepsakes. And there we have it, it's done. It's funny the things that you don't do and procrastinate how quick they actually go. Here's the next project, my kitchen drawer. But first, I need to tackle the mess of the kitchen because I can't clean up a drawer in the kitchen until I clean up the kitchen itself. So I hope you join me with this kitchen speed clean. And this part of my video is the perfect example of if you give a mom a cookie because I'm gonna clean the kitchen then I'm gonna realize that I need to figure out lunch for the family. So what I'm going to do is then look at my refrigerator and see what a mess it is and decide to organize it. And then I think, well, if I'm organizing the refrigerator, I might as well organize the pantry. So this is a kitchen clean, refrigerator organize and pantry organize so that I can organize one bill drawer. I'm telling you, you do not wanna see what goes on in this brain.
So here we are in my messy refrigerator and I'm going through and deciding what food is old and needs to go so that I can have some space to even see what is in that refrigerator. There's like nothing to eat, but my refrigerator is full. Does anyone else ever struggle with that? If so, let me know in the comments below. Please make me feel better. I'm not going for a deep clean here. I'm just trying to basically get it decluttered and take care of anything that's glaring. So I have to admit, this looks way better and it was completely worth it. So now all I need to do is give it a quick wipe on the outside. Now here I am at my pantry. This pantry gets out of control so, so quickly, but I'm going for presentable, not perfect. I just wanna be able to see what's in there and have it organized, have everything back in its own categories. It's not too bad, I'm smiling. And finally, we're at the bill drawer that has turned into a junk drawer and I'm going to quickly get that organized. But first, I'm starting a video because I like to watch YouTube videos while I clean. I find it super motivating. The first step is to just get everything out and figure out where it should go or what needs to be thrown out. A lot of things just get tossed in here for no reason, like the masking tape that you just saw come out. <laughs>
This time I'm hitting the drawer with the all-purpose pumpkin spray from Mrs. Myers, and I love this smell. It's perfect for fall. Now that everything has been taken out of the drawer, I can just go through it quickly and make very, very fast decisions. I'm trying to be brutal and only put back in there the things I absolutely have to and then I'm forced into making a decision on where everything else goes. If you saw me clean up my other junk drawer that was in my kitchen, I'll leave that linked in um, an eye in the sky, then you recognize this Rubbermaid where I keep a lot of little odds and ends and it is a game changer for me in keeping down the clutter. schedules and my planner. This is some little stickers I have bought that I'm also going to put with my planner. The main stickers. These are my husband's, so I'm not going to figure that out. These are bag tags for when we have returnables. That is actually going to go back in here. Trash, some bag tags. This is a temporary schedule that will go with my planner. Dump hours. Uh, that's what Maybe I'll keep these in here for now. Each and every one of them. So trash. This one's under the TV because it's a stylus to go with the kids' Kindles. This is a recipe. This goes with money. And this is my son, so I'll leave that out for him to take care of. All right. So I'll just put these things where they need to go. My planner. Um, recipes, under the TV, my son's, my husband's, money, mail. And then we're done. So let me show you what it looks like and then this gets put away. 